My name is Eugene the bird, okay? Well, it's not Eugene the bird, but it's just Eugene. Pretty cool name for a bird though, right? Do you remember Eugene Krabs out of Spongebob? That's what I got inspired by. Now, would you just look at me gliding through the air, loving life? I mean, you get a really good view from up here. Oh yeah, we nose diving, baby. I think it's possible to also speed the bird up. There we go, yeah, look. So we can actually go faster if we want to. And then, you know, if you fly by something that you need to slow down and take a look at, you can just slow down like that. It's amazing. I've always wanted to be a bird. And now that that has happened, my life is complete. Man, I am definitely down to go to the beach. Um, I just need to show you something real quick, okay? So, I'm not actually a human. My name is Eugene the Bird. Is this you right here? Yeah, it's me, look. Hey, what's up? You ready? You wanna see me fly? Oh yeah, baby. That's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I told you I have something secret to show you. I can fly by and nip your ear. Come on. It's so hard trying to goddamn control this thing. Oh, God damn it! what is going on? He's stealing my money, guys. I can't defend myself, I'm a bird. Take his Louis jacket, man, he stole my money. Whoever's spawning money on me, there's nothing I can do with it. What do you want me to go and buy? Some worms that I can eat? Oh, they got a baseball bat out of their car. Okay, I want to get a bird's eye view of this. Let's go. See, these are the pros of being a bird. The money is still being spawned on me, you see that? Oh, it's not being spawned on me, it's being spawned near me though. That's weird. Oh, they're chasing them down. There we go. Oh! I don't know if you guys saw that, but they just smacked him over the head with a baseball bat. Oh god, there's gunshots going off. I don't know what they're doing now. <laughs> but yeah, those are true friends, because as a bird, you can't defend yourself. And when your property is getting stolen, you need some friends around like those guys who can take care of it for you. Right, I want to know what the gunshots were about. I think they actually cleared that guy away. So boys, did you take care of him? Yeah. Good, because I was about to say, if you didn't, I've got this nice little LMG on my back. I don't know who's spawning money on me. What the hell is that behind us? Oh god, slow down, go- oh, come on. Oh baby, whose yacht is this? Uh, this is mine. Oh really, what do you do for work? Uh, I- We run an empire. Uh, real estate. I work in car flipping. Jack of all trades. Oh, business owning. Couple of business. Kishasha worker. He's a construction owner. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit much you've got there to do. Actually, it's pretty manageable. Right, so I decided to peace out from them two guys on the yacht. And now, Eugene the bird is going to see what other adventures he can get up to. Right, guys, so I've got a custom weapon out right now. It's actually a pretty nice looking magnum. But as you can see, there's no like crosshair. If you don't know what a crosshair is, it's the little dot on your screen that allows you to know where you're aiming. So basically, if I shoot this magnum right now, I don't have a clue where I'm shooting it at. So for example, if I wanted to shoot that driver out right now, I wouldn't have a clue where to aim. Like, look, I don't know where I'm aiming. Since there's no crosshair, it makes it super hard. So I wanted to play a little game and see if with no crosshair we can shoot someone that's passing by out of their car. So let's give it a try on this guy in the blue truck. Was that close? I can't tell. You see what I mean? It's really hard to tell. We smashed that guy's glass. That was pretty close. Come on, what about this guy in the red truck? Nope, totally missed him. What about this guy? Oh, we got him! Yes! You see what I mean? It kind of does make it a little bit more satisfying. Hey, sorry man, you were part of the game, and it just had to be. The sad thing is, I don't even want his car. I just wanted to see if I could get someone going by. Is this guy honking at me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now I've got to try and cross this busy road. This is pretty scary. Have you ever tried to cross a road like this in real life? Because I know for a fact that I have, and it's not a fun experience. Hey sir, can I have you get off the road? You sure can. I need to report something though, so I'm gonna need you to pull over. So today I've been kind of being harassed by a bird. I know it sounds stupid, but it's happened. But yeah, man, his name is Eugene and he has a really long neck and he just keeps harassing me and I need it to stop. Is this cop really about to leave me here when I'm reporting Eugene the bird for harassing me? Oh no, I think he's just reparking his car. Where did you last see him? Uh, we were just at Vespucci Beach not long ago and he came down and, you know, he took a poop on my shoulder. So man, do you think you'll be able to help me out? 
like, is he, was he stalking you or something, or what? Dude, he won't leave me alone. This bird keeps flying around, he's pooping on me, I keep having to get new shirts, and I, I can't afford this. We'll, we'll try to get the bird out. Thank you. And one more thing before you go. Yep. I am Eugene the bird. <laughs> he just pulls off straight away. So, I think I've got a cop following me around. Probably because I stole this bus. I'm gonna ask him what he is following me around for. Hey, 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 where you going, man? Hey, uh, sir, can you back in your bus for me? Well, you're scratching up my bus, so I need to stay out of my bus to get your insurance details. Is there any reason you're scratching your butt in the middle of the street? Scratching my butt? Bro, my hands have been beside me, nowhere near my butt. Let's get your bus out of the middle of the road for me. Well, it's in the middle of the road because you were scratching it up. I need your insurance details now. Why do you? Because you messed up the side of my bus. Your bus is fine over here. Don't act like nothing happened. Dude, you just scratched up the side of my bus. I saw sparks flying off the side. I'ma move it out the road though. So, you know, I said I was gonna pull my bus over out of the road. And I decided to take off, and now I've got some cops chasing me. This is definitely not a place to be driving a bus, that is for sure. But I'm about to get out of this bus, turn into Eugene, and fly away. Here goes, boys. And I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, crap, they're trying to shoot me. I'm going up. How many goddamn cops do we have after me? Oh, yeah, baby. You will never catch Eugene. <laughs> Guys, have you ever seen it this foggy before? What the hell? Why is it so foggy? There's a there's another detective in the house. I saw what would you like? Welcome to Chili's. What's going on? You Welcome to Chili's. <gasps> what Wait. the hell? Oh hey. Welcome to Chili's. Ah uh, sir, what can I get for you? I would like a pack of Redwoods, um, some donuts from over here, and that will be it. How much? That will be uh, five dollars fifty, sir. Okay. What's with the the people with the guns. Oh, please, officer. What's with the what? Guys, look, I love how there's no fog inside the store, but then as soon as you come out, you ready? Watch this. It starts coming back in. And look, no matter what, we can never chase the fog. It runs away from us, and then we stop, and it stops too. What kind of black magic is this? Hello, sir. Come up here, man. We're gonna have some fun up here. I'm gonna jump, and then you're gonna jump. So, we're gonna start off by you jumping. You've gotta take a nice big leap. It will be fun, I promise you. What, you wanna jump from up there? Yeah, it's higher. Okay, I mean, you might break your ankle, but I'm guessing that's what you want. We can jump from up here, though, like, straight forward this way, on the sand. Okay, you ready? You've gotta jump. You've gotta, like, run up and jump. Dude, come down here. I think it's gonna be easier to jump from here, because you can get a run up. I'm gonna follow behind you. Run and jump, when you're ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to jump. You fucking asshole. Hello, my friend with the fedora. How's it going? I'm, uh, pretty good. Okay, and what you doing dressed so nicely? I work for Weasel News. Uh, this is just my, uh, you know... The attire uh, that you wear to work? casual outfit. Okay, I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you. So where's the camera then if you work for Weasel News? Oh, whoa! So, dude, um, if you work for Weasel News, how long have you been there for then? Ah, uh, let's say about five years. Oh, really? They have like a Weasel News department down in Australia? No, in the Los Santos. Oh, Los so Santos, you came from Australia. Australia then? Oh, okay. So you came here for the work opportunities yeah, it, then? It's very, it's very interesting, you know. I just moved here about like uh, ten years ago, and then now I'm working for Weasel News. So I've been working there for about five years now. If you would like to work at Weasel News, uh, you know, just come down to my Weasel News and I can uh, do an interview on you. Well, man, I don't think I'd be able to, you know, work for Weasel News. You want to know why? Why can't you work? Because I'm not a weasel, man. Yeah, but the news. We need news around here, you know? I haven't seen any news besides myself. Well, that's telling you something. You're doing a good job. Maybe they don't need anyone else. Yeah, and I need, a po I need, I need employees, you know? I need some oh, news people, you're the boss. you know? Of course I'm the boss. I mean, I can give you some content. Whip out the camera. That's about all I can do. I mean, if you can work for me and no, I can no, be no. your boss and I can pay you, it pays great. It's about 2k a week. I'm sorry, man. That's just not enough. 
How about 5k a week? 5k a week to be a Weasel News cameraman? Well, can you please tell me how your company is profiting if you're giving away that much money? Because, uh, the manager, which is my boss, he owns lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money. So he just gives it away? And... Yeah. Very believable. Well, dude, if you're offering me 5k a week, what must you be on per week? Ah, he's not answering me. That's how you know he's a fishy individual. And now he is walking away. You know what? You cannot trust sketchy individuals like this man here. I'm gonna do us all a favor and get rid of him. There we go. 5k a week to work for Weasel News. Hell no, I'm Eugene the Bird. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. If you did find yourself enjoying it, make sure you take the time to slap a like on it, as when I see a video with lots of likes, that lets me know that you guys are enjoying them. If you happen to be new around here, do consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turning post notifications on, as I upload videos here every single day that I definitely think you'd enjoy.